So before starting on closing, I'm going to home, home key delete a layer or two here. Um, I still want to keep, I've been keeping these two layers in here forever, and uh, there will be a point at which these, these get eliminated from the project. Uh, I should say that uh, at some point, you know, I, I, just because I like working this way, uh, there's definitely a point at which, if you were to include uh, an animatic version of this layer, or ex export other animatic versions uh, progressively based on your progress. Uh, depending on whether or not your riggers are using weight maps, and that's you've got to use weight maps if you're doing character work uh, uh, of any kind in Lightwave. Well, uh, say that with a grain of salt. There's some people I'm sure uh, who have gotten through, you know, using uh, Lightwave and not touched character maps or, or excuse me, weight maps at all. But uh, you, you want to where. Uh, all through this process, if you're, like I've said before, you know, where are you uh, in relationship to everybody else in the pipeline on, and on your team and, and such, and you want to, uh, since you've gotten this far you know, uh, in the modeling phase, um, I'm just tweaking a few things as I'm talking here, uh, because we're at, we're at that stage where we can really start to hone in on uh, character details and stuff like that, the clothing definitely. But if you can get you know, just temporarily uh, or even permanently change that uh, some of the way the uh, some of the, the adjacent polygons flow, you'd be able to get uh, kind of a straight edge across here to make you know a physical uh, edge to between the surfaces that's perfect. Um, it's not uncommon. I've done that a bunch of times myself. Uh, but it, it's not entirely necessary because I, I, at this stage I just wanted to see the real rough surfaces and how they kind of fit, uh, how they kind of look with the the geometry that we have, and it's really not bad. And we'll see how these deform. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's it's an important area, but if we need, you know, but no pun intended, uh, we always have the opportunity to add some edges uh, before that. Let me leave those point edits, but just get this back to its original position. We still have the opportunity to do this pretty easily and, and to add some edges to make that area more crisp. You see I'm not going all the way around there. So we've got an area we can, or a little piece of detail we can kind of tuck in. and then return to that edge loop and get that's a little better, not the greatest, there's still kind of a fold in here that uh, maybe we can take care of with some other poly loops or uh, or even maybe changing the edge there let's see if this might work a little better Select those two edges again. Merge the adjacent polys. And maybe I only need to tuck in. Maybe I don't need to tuck that in. Maybe I need to, to overlap some geometry here. And overlap, I mean, just kind of drag over. It's not actually turning the way I wanted it to, but. See how quickly you can get these undone. Um, maybe just a few more there. Or actually, let me turn that first. Go back to the edges and select a different edge. But that is going to give us, you know, that odd, odd shape polygon. So I want to be really careful about about doing this. Let's select that upper edge. Now, I guess you're wondering when the point is, like, oh, when's he going to be happy and just merge these things? <laughs> well, to, believe me, it's coming soon. I actually have, uh, uh, I know my limits, you know, I know we're, uh, there, there are particular times and only, okay, this, now, now comes a time when we merge this guy up and it's basically when all the operations, all the remaining operations can be taken care of uh, without upsetting the, the symmetry of the model. 
and we still need to go, we still need to build a lot of things and it's easy enough to test it you know just seam it across there and see what happens and, uh, oops Got one piece of the old neck muscle in there yeah I think it's pretty solid all the way around.